NBCU Academy. I'm Jane Wells with CNBC, where I've been a reporter for, I don't know, over 20 years. The jury in the O.J. Simpson case has reached a verdict. She is live from a cranberry bog. For those of you who don't really understand what a Santa Ana's can do. I've done a lot of stories over the years, and I think one of the reasons I've been able to keep a job is because I try to make every story pop, every story be memorable. And I'm gonna show you one way I did that today. The story was very typical, nothing special. It was about a jump in thefts of catalytic converters. Those are the devices under your car. As the exhaust comes out of the engine, the converter cleans up a lot of the pollutants before sending it out the back of the car. Now, every news outlet has its own unique audience. You always have to think of what makes the story interesting to the specific group that's tuning in. Now, what made this a story for CNBC, which is a network that focuses on business and the stock market, is that the converters are being stolen because the precious metals inside them have gone way up in value and investors trade these metals. So thieves were also profiting. Now people say, how do you come up with a story idea? Well, this is how I came up with it. I brought my car in here to my garage and while I was here, the mechanic got a phone call from someone who had their catalytic converter stolen. And I'm sitting there and I said, is that a thing? And he said, oh yeah, it's been going way up. So I did my research and I found out that all across the country, Catalytic converter thefts have spiked. I realized all of a sudden, I had a story. So I took this to my bosses and they knew I would need to answer more questions like, where were the converters ending up? How much were thieves getting for them? Well, they were ending up in disreputable metal scrap yards or even disreputable mechanics who were reselling them. And you could get several hundred dollars per converter. In addition to thinking about your audience, you also have to adjust your storytelling for the medium. When you're doing a story for TV, you always have to think about the visuals first. Some stories may work really well in print or radio, but they don't work as well on TV because you don't have compelling video, images, footage. So I gathered as many visuals as I could of stolen converters, ring camera videos of thefts actually taking place. I interviewed a police officer and a victim I found on Twitter. Okay, you gotta stay with us, guys. When we watch TV news, we all see a lot of pieces where the interviews happen with two people sitting in chairs across from each other. Then maybe the reporter is standing up outside call that a stand-up. It's at the beginning and the end of the piece. Now, most reporters would probably do this story standing in front of a car, but I wanted to make the story special. You want to make it pop, you want to make it memorable. I decided I wanted to get under a car, and my mechanic told me he just happened to have a car with his catalytic converter stolen. So we put it up on a lift. Then he suggested, why don't you put a second car up next to it, which has its catalytic converter, so people can see what it looks like. Brilliant. Well, you can tell from this pipe that something very sharp went in there and just cut it. I interviewed him under the cars, and because sound is so important to giving a story some extra character, I asked him to lower the car, which was missing its converter, so we could hear how loud it sounds when that happens. That's how you know it got stolen. Then I decided to make the live shot just a bit more exciting. Why don't you stay up on that instead of come back to me? I wanted to use two cameras and go from under one car to the other, something I had to practice. All right, one more time. I wrote a track and recorded it in the field. Voice over one, three, two, one. And finally, we prepared the finished product, taking a very basic story about precious metals prices and making it a bit more unique. Here it is. CNBC's Jane Wells following the money and the crime. Jane? Hey, Shep, I'm here at Star Automotive. Look, who knew the underbelly of your car was so valuable right now? But this is a catalytic converter. It cleans the exhaust coming out of the engine and sends it down to the muffler. But increasingly, this is what people are finding in the morning out of their cars. It's gone, sawn out by thieves, usually in the middle of the night. It happened to Brian Coughlin. Last Christmas Eve, Coughlin went to run errands in his Prius. So he turned on the car. And then there was a loud rumbling noise in the car. The point is this, no matter how minor the story, you can try to always think of something that will make it stand out. Something that will make it better, more creative, more visual, more interesting than what the competition is doing. That is one way you get a job and how you keep that job.